Daddy Cab, Jed here from Thailand Myland. A lot of people only look at my latest videos and don't look back on my older videos. So I've decided to put a few relevant ones on here again for anyone who might have missed them the first time around. This one I did last year on the best music venues in Wahin. I hope you enjoy the video and it'll be useful to you if you're thinking of coming here to live or for a relaxing holiday. Yeah, I'm with Van Kung Po, um, my favourite spot. I'm gonna come and listen to some live music, have some to eat, and uh, a couple of drinks. So today's video is gonna be about uh, live music venues here in uh, Hua Hin. So I've come here for the first one because this is probably the biggest and the best. <laughs> a few days ago the uh, Van Kung Ho was closed at 9 o'clock at night uh, but uh, they revised that, the government revised that and they're now allowing uh, all these venues, music venues and bars to open till 11 o'clock at night which makes a big difference. <laughs> normally uh, Thai music. Um, before Covid there was a lot of uh, tourists come here and they'd mix a little bit of uh, Farang music with it uh, but mainly it's Thai music because it's mainly Thai people uh, who come here. Uh, the next two places I'll show you uh, a little bit more different. They're more the uh, hard rock, more your Guns N' Roses and uh, Led Zeppelin and uh, deep purple uh, type bands uh, but I like coming here because it's a little bit made, more laid back and you can sit and have dinner and, and a relaxed atmosphere <laughs> So the next live music venue is the Rock Zone. I did a video a week or so ago about this uh, young seven-year-old drummer who plays there sometimes. Um, I'd like to just put it on again because I just can't get over how good he is. So I'm just going to leave him on here for just for a few seconds. Uh, you can take another look at him uh, and then we'll get into uh, the other live music that they have there. Anyone watching this, uh, send it to your friends, your family and anyone else. Uh, I'd like this to go viral. I'd love to, for this uh, seven-year-old boy to get famous uh, for drumming. zone is just down the road from Bang Kung Po, only about a two minute drive from uh, there. Uh, they have live music seven nights a week. They have uh, 
normally the same three piece band except they change the singer um, maybe three times a week they have a different singer but the other two piece uh, guitar and uh, drummer are there every night <laughs>
Well, I'm here at uh, El Toro. Uh, this is off uh, Soy 121. It's a little bit out of the way, but uh, very good music venue. Not busy, which is sad because of uh, COVID and because of the uh, government changing their mind about letting people in the country without quarantine. But very good music. Who's a singer, the man with the long, long hair, long grey hair? He's the owner. He moved from Soy 94 to here about a year ago. It's a bit of a Hells Angels hangout actually. Good song to put on for a uh, Hells Angel uh, just arrived. I think this is planned. Born to be wild. From the Mikey movie Easy Rider.
my friends in Middlesbrough. Our oh, local hero, this is the Spoon Free. see me. Uh, I'm going to show you four places tonight actually because I've just found this place. Uh, it's just open. It's the opening night tonight. It's called uh, Route 94 and it's uh, just uh, near Soy 94 just behind the rock zone actually. So it's the opening night. I don't think it's going to be that good because it sounds like there's just a folk singer on but uh, we'll go and have a little look, have a beer and check it out shall we? Well it's not a bad venue, um, the place is very nice but uh, the music's more music to eat dinner by uh, than a, a night out to listen to music. Um, but anyway that's, I mean a lot of people like this sort of thing uh, and I do sometimes when I'm having dinner, it's nice to uh, sit and listen to some live music. There's two other places uh, I forgot to mention as well, which um, are live music venues here, uh, but both of them play music similar to this place. They're the two big markets of the uh, Kaltakia, uh, Cicada Market and Tamarin Market. Both of them, those places have live music. Um, Tamarin Market is open Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And Cicada Market is open Friday, Saturday and Sunday and as I said they have live music but it's like this type of music, maybe a guitarist, a singer or a duet. So that brings to the end of my uh, music venues here in uh, Hohin. Hopefully by the time uh, Covid goes uh, there should be more places opening up like there was two years ago. A lot of places have closed down but hopefully we'll see uh, things getting better soon. So if, like I was, before I moved to Thailand, you're sick of your own country that's getting more and more remote by the day, and where your rights are being slowly taken away from you by your so-called governments, where the country that you were born and grew up in is deteriorating so much that you don't even recognise it as your own anymore, maybe it's time to consider retiring overseas. If that's the case, take a look at my new book, The Retiring Thailand Handbook 2023, is filled with everything that you'll need to know about living in the land of smiles. Or, if Thailand doesn't rock your boat, take a look at my book, The 10 Best Countries to Retire to, on your pension. Thailand, Malaysia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Bali, 
Indonesia, Spain, Portugal, Costa Rica, Belize and Panama. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.